Squidward Tentacles is a character in the SpongeBob series who lives next door to the main character and works with him at the Krusty Krab. SpongeBob works as a fry cook while Squidward runs the register. Can I get some extra salt? We're all out. Could you check? No. Squidward is usually depicted as an irritable, sarcastic, and pessimistic person. His personality contrasts with SpongeBob's optimistic and enthusiastic personality. And unlike SpongeBob, who seems to be an extrovert, Squidward prefers solitude and enjoys his own personal hobbies like painting and playing the clarinet, even though he's not good at it. Yeah, uh, we're with the pet hospital down the street, and I understand you have a dying animal on the premises. Today we're going to take a closer look at an episode where Squidward's feelings are explored in a more serious way. In the episode called, Are You Happy Now? Squidward's sadness and feelings of unfulfillment with life are highlighted in this episode. This episode delves deeper into Squidward's emotions while also being one of the few Spongebob episodes that highlights depression. So grab some snacks, hit the like button, let's get started. <laughs> One Krabby Patty, extra grease. <laughs> He's so giddy. <laughs> Reading isn't that exciting. Calm down. Let me see that. The Krusty Krab work schedule. What's so great about this? Oh, what's so Why, it's my happy book. The Krusty Krab is where all of my happiest memories occurred. Mr. Krabs hit the jackpot when he hired SpongeBob. Hmm. Oops, I accidentally burned up your memories. So the book was on the grill earlier, but didn't burn up. But now it burns up. Squidward. I have a whole cabinet of backups. So, what's your happiest memory, Squidward? Um, let me think. <sighs> I guess I don't have a happiest memory. Oh, well. Yes! Squidward. You don't have a happiest memory? So what? How can you live without a happiest memory? Do you cry yourself to sleep at night? I hear you crying all the time. Well, with joy, Squidward. With joy. Look, I don't need a happy memory. So just get back to your culinary grease factory and leave me alone. Hi, uh, I'd like to order a Krabby Patty, please. <laughs> OK, can someone else take my order? <laughs> I'll wait. Wow, that was fast. You're right, SpongeBob. I don't have a happiest memory. This is horrible. Don't worry, Squidward. I'll help you make a happiest memory. Really? Do you think you can? No problem. Wow, it's against my better judgment, but okay. This probably won't end well. You love music, right, Squidward? Mm -hmm. Then this'll definitely be your happiest memory. Hey, this isn't so bad. I think I actually feel kind of uh, happy. See, your happiest memory is forming. Oops, that was a sour note. This is not my happiest memory. Ouch. Why are we at the art museum? Well, you love art. Maybe you'll find a happy memory in here. Great. I get to see all the art of people who have succeeded where I've failed. My art will never be shown in this building. Oh, what the? Oh, this, this, this is my sculpture. How did it get here? Oh, you're just in time. Art lovers, this is Squidward Tentacles, creator of this piece. Ooh. Wow, your work in a museum, Squidward. Gosh, I can't believe it. I think this might be it. Your happiest memory? Yeah. And now, the performance artist Fiasco will say a few words about this piece. Gosh, Fiasco himself is talking about my art. Ahem. Squid. Word. Go toward. The light. Of my flamethrower. Oh. 
And now he's melted it. Not a happiest memory. You should have showed him the bold and brass. That was your best work. What a majestic view. What view? Oh yeah, I forgot about your blindfold. Isn't it beautiful? Very nice. Except that I'm afraid of heights. Oh, sorry, Squidward. I'll take us down. What now? Oh boy. Ah! Ah! Oh, yeah. Nice view. Son of a seahorse! 20 years of training and a couple of amateurs just leap out of a balloon! Here, you plan it! Ugh, all the time and money and resources wasted on- Hey! We're the first to ever reach the top of Mount Bikini! Surely that must make for our happiest memory! I claim this mountain in the name of Squidward Tentacles! <laughs> Uh-oh. Stupid amateurs. I Fantastic. Time to face facts. I'll never have a happiest memory. And if I do, it definitely won't involve you. I just think you have bad luck. Hello, misery. I'm home. I might as well go to bed for a hundred years or so. Wake me when I'm dead. This is how I feel every day. Holy shit, Squidward's literally me. I just can't seem to get happy. That didn't help. I'm surprised they snuck the scene in. I can't seem to get happy. Maybe this will help. <laughs> nope, I guess not. Oh, great. I wonder who that could be. You're not SpongeBob. I have a package here for a Squidward Tentacles. Tentacles? Yes, that's me. Well, here you go. Thanks. Doesn't say who it's from. No doubt SpongeBob's hiding inside. Oh, well, here goes nothing. Gotcha! Huh? huh? It's empty. Empty. Just like my miserable life. <laughs> I see nothing but darkness ahead. Surprise! I figured what you needed was a party to help cheer you up. Unfortunately, everyone I tried to invite was busy or sick, but don't worry. I used my paper mache skills to fill the party with your favorite person, me! What do you think? Happiest memory or what? You don't seem to understand. I don't want a happiest memory! Are you enjoying the hors d'oeuvres? <laughs> Handsome. Looks like he's also bipolar too. This episode ended without really solving any of Squidward's problems. He just ended up throwing a tantrum. So I'm assuming he's still battling with depression, even in the current episodes. This episode showed a lot of implied suicide attempts, such as the rope scene, and the scene where Squidward briefly put his head in the oven. The Are You Happy Now episode was also recently pulled from airing on Nickelodeon as of August 15, 2019, making it a banned episode. 
but this episode can still be found on Paramount Plus and other streaming services. Now, tell me in the comments, what do you think of this episode? Until next time, I'm Tsunami. Thanks for watching.